Right, so I think we need to get a uh, ritual room set up for uh, the conversion of gross here. Because, uh, yeah, we still need to do that, so I think that can go in here. Plus, it would give us an excuse to dig out that um, steel that's uh, right here. So, yeah, I think that's uh, part of the uh, big plans for today is just get that done and over with. So, let's make it a four-wide tunnel. I said a four-wide tunnel, please. Like so. And the miners can have fun digging that out. And let's just set this uh, simulation speed up to uh, its maximum. So, hmm. I think I'm going to have to uh, build this uh, retro room uh, soonish. If only to make the uh, conversion of uh, grows easier. Hmm. Of course, I probably said that twice now. Oh well, it is what it is. So, hmm. What else do I need to do? Okay, let's see what I need to research, cause, uh, yeah, I haven't been researching much. Mostly because we've got three colonists, uh, so far. Hmm. Let's see, now, what do we want? I guess we could get solar panels, but I don't see how that could help us in, uh, cave. Hmm. Microelectronics? Uh, I guess we could do that, but, uh, where is that microelectronics anyways? Hmm, I guess I could just, oh, it's right here. So, good crafting on that one. And I think I also want some basic gunsmithing, which means uh, machining and smithing also have to be researched. Hmm, let's see now, what else do I want? I guess, uh, SMGs? Yeah, I think I might also want some SMGs. Because I think that's our research uh, covered for right now. And let's see now. Alright, so that's uh, almost uh, dug out, so that's good. Oh, and we found a new little area. Oh well. I guess that that doesn't matter much since we can just uh, convert these uh, walls into, well, slate walls. So yeah, I think that's going to be the play. Is we're just going to make everything out of slate. Like so. And just have a double door uh, into the conversion room. Hmm. Right, so I guess the builders are sleeping, and I guess we're uh, still working on the conversion of gross here. 52% uh, certainty. On uh, day 60. So, yeah. Speaking of which, if you've been enjoying this uh, series so far, why not uh, drop a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel for more uh, of these kinds of shenanigans. Because that's apparently a uh, standard issue uh, call to action that we have to do as YouTubers. Yeah, that's really how the game is played on YouTube anyways. Hmm. And I guess some only bats uh, that have decided to join the colony. Hmm. Let's see. Now, I don't think I want to deal with them. Right now, so, uh, yeah. Sorry, I think I'm just gonna release him. I don't think this colony is gonna be, uh, focused too much on animal husbandry. Hmm, maybe in a future colony I can, uh, do that. Hey, there's an idea. Just have a colony of, uh, ranchers. And that could be an entire theme on its own. Oh, boy. We're getting raided by the pack of... Kovjin? And they're attacking immediately, and it's just, uh, one person with a knife. Oh, boy. Okay, I'll call this, uh, report for duty. And hopefully, uh, smite the enemies with your bolt hatchet rifles. Whenever they, uh, choose to break through the wall. And we're just gonna say hi by, uh, blasting them in the face. Like so. And here, we're just gonna rebuild the, uh, walls after we're done with this, uh, raid. Like so. And that takes care of that. So, we didn't take any injuries and we couldn't save the enemy for a uh, possible conversion in into, well, being a colonist. For us. Oh well. It is what it is. Because uh, that's sometimes the way the cookie crumbles in this game. Sometimes you win some, you sometimes you lose some. And that's how it is in every game, really. In recent years, we managed to convert gross, so yeah, I guess we didn't need that uh, ritual room anyway, so, uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, let's, uh, recruit him. Because that sounds like a good idea. I think he might be easy to recruit now. Plus, we have a new room. 
And I could also be a prisoner's bed or something like that for a new, uh, prisoner if we manage to capture somebody. And I'd meet another colonist in the colony, which would be good for our production. Hmm. So, let's see. Now, uh, can you just make a sleep bed? Uh, no, we can't. I'm surprised by that. Oh, well. It is what it is. We can just use steel for now. Is this a, probably a waste of good steel? Probably. Do we, do I really care? Not really. And hey, Laney is, Laney is pregnant again. Hopefully that goes better this time around. And now you have some silver sheep. Uh, goodbye, silver sheep. Not this colony. Next one, maybe. And Rose has officially joined the colony. Oh, lovely. So let's just, uh, make this for colonists. And then make this one as a prison cell. Like so. And now you've got another, uh, prison room. Just in case. We need to, uh, have somewhere to, uh, store the, uh, prisoners. It's, uh, relatively decent. So, let's get that, uh, all set up. So, let's see, where's the smooth... Oh, smooth services right here. And let's just, uh, smooth the, uh, walls. Okay, can I not cancel that one specifically? Oh, I can just do it like that. I knew that. Mm. So, let's just, uh, smooth all these walls and all these and call it a day. And also put some floors down for that, um, uh, future prisoner. Yeah, they're gonna have, uh, one nice prison cell. It's gonna be their future bedroom. Oh, dear. I'm pretty sure I'm breaking some, uh, rules, uh, IRL for that one. Oh, well. Who cares about that? It's a video game. Nobody cares about what happens to some lines of code in a video game. Oh, boy. Looks like there's some, uh, thrombone guys, uh, here. And that's, uh, this thingy. Hmm. Do I care? Uh, not really. I I guess I'm just showing you because it, well, happened to the colony. And I guess uh, that's what this video is about, is uh, whatever mildly interesting thing has happened to the colony now. Oh well, I guess it is what it is. But hey, in recent news, we have finished uh, microelectronics, because that means orbital trading, I think. And yep, uh, orbital... Well, orbital trading is, uh, now a go. So, let's, uh, put an orbital trade beacon down like so. And a Tom's console. If only I had the components. Okay, let's, uh, not put it right there. Like so. Right, so, uh, where would it be the cheapest? And made sense. Hmm. Not here. Uh, hmm. Let's just, uh, shove it in right here. Because that's where I feel like shoving it in. And let's see. Now, what else do I need to do? Oh, yeah. Find some more components. I guess that can come from the Tori because that's why you have the Tori. It's to find components. Easily. But I think we can, uh, mine those out now. Hmm. And get some more, uh, mushroom logs. So, uh, I guess, uh, drive those at your earliest convenience, please. Oh, boy. Hmm. But, uh... Let's just, uh, work on the, um, hydroponics, uh, bay, uh, now, so that'd be nice to have. Plus, it would mean a source of, um, heel root for the colony, which would be good. And also some cotton for some more clothes. Because I think Rose has some, uh, pretty gross clothes, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Wool skin, uh, button-down shirt, poor, 0.77%. We really need to get him a new t-shirt. Actually, come to think of it, I don't think we need, uh, that many, um, uh, hydroponics basins, uh, just yet. So, let's, uh, say four components and use them instead of the, uh, comms console. So we can have that up and running. And then get some more, uh, components that way. As well as, uh, get them out of the, uh, mountain side that, uh, has the components in them anyways. Like, uh, right here. Because, uh, if somebody can, uh, go ahead and do that, uh, please, that would be nice. Right, so I think we can, uh, make do with, uh, this many hydroponics, uh, basin. So, let's see now. Let's just, uh, select all of you. And make you all cotton. Because we don't actually need any food. Because we've got, uh, too much food, actually, if you, I'm being completely honest with you. Right, so that means, uh, let's make all these seal root. And we can just do half and half. Half heel root, half cotton, so... Oh, 
I never called us to have, uh, Aiden growing still. Oh, well, I guess, uh, somebody can work up to that. Um, in terms of growing still, I think that's gonna be Matya here. Cause you are five. Lainley is seven, so I think Lainley might actually make it, uh, there before anybody else does. Two is six. And Rose is two. So I guess, uh, that's the status on that. And it is currently day 77. Cause, uh, yeah, we're just, uh, turning along in this colony. With, uh, not much happening. Hmm. You know, maybe it's time to up the difficulty. See if we can get some, uh, dramatic, uh, firefights between the colony and the, uh, raiders. So, with that in mind, uh, gameplay. Storyteller settings. And... Blood and dust. Let's just move up by one. Cause, yeah, that's gonna be a thing that happens to the colony. And hey, we get some more steel from the quarry. Cause, uh, yeah, that's also a uh, good thing that we can get from the quarry. So, speaking of the quarry... Uh, let's just show off, uh, what we can actually get from the quarry. So, that would be, uh, this one right here. So we can get steel, silver, gold, uranium, plasteel, jade, and components for some reason. And, yeah. That's the quarry for you. You know, when I expected, uh, well, when I turned up the difficulty on this game, I expected there to be raids from magical raiders, not a manhunter pad. Cause that's what we can do with the manhunter pad. Cause, let's see, where is it coming from? Oh, over here, so... I just, uh, forbid that door. Forbid, uh, this door. And just ignore it. And pretend it do doesn't exist. That's what we can do. So yeah, that takes care of that. In recent big news, well, uh... Lainley here has reached plants level 8. She can now plant a heal root. So, that's good. You know, Lainley's, uh, pregnancy isn't, isn't its, uh, third trimester. So, I don't think, uh, food will be an issue this time around. Cause, uh, yeah, that was the issue last time. And we pretty much sorted out the food, um, problems that we were having that time. And, hmm. Let's see now. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. So, that would be under biotech, I want to say, or ideology. Huh, neither. Hmm. Let's see, now... When, why do we have cloth? Hmm. We got cloths from somewhere, and I don't know where. Maybe it was the, um... Uh, mycelium. That gave us cloth for some reason. Hmm. That's just a mystery to me, because I don't think I had any way of getting cloth. And hey, we've been lots of gunsmithing, so that's also good. Hmm. Let's, uh, get a butcher's table down so we can, uh, butcher some animals properly. And get the most amount of food that we can out of them. So, let's see, that'd be... Hmm. Where, what, oh. This one right here. And let's see now, what do we actually have that we can use? Gold? Nah. Would be funny to have a uh, golden butcher's table. Hmm. But I guess uh, not right now. So let's see now. Where's the? Oh, we haven't grabbed the mushroom wand. So let's just grab those and call it a day, and then make sure we can have a butcher's table from those. But I think the, uh, Butcher's Table can wait, uh, for tomorrow's, uh, episode, because, uh, yeah, this, uh, video is getting a bit on the long side, and it is currently day 80. Let's say the other, uh, remaining 20 days for another episode, because, uh, reasons. So, yeah, I guess, uh, just subscribe if you want to see that one, and if you want to support the channel, there will be a link to my profile in the description, and that's how you can get your name on the credit screen if, uh, you want to do that. And be, uh... And support her through that uh, method. So, yeah. Anyways, I guess I'll see you in the next one tomorrow. So, stay tuned for that one. And that one will be posted at 3 p.m. Mountain Time, US, as per usual. Bye. <laughs>